Hey guys, Kevin here, Mr. DIY Dork from DIYDork.com. Today I want to show you how to turn an old bass drum into a really cool retro style coffee table. So check this out, it's really awesome. All right, so let me show you the bass drum that I'm working with and then give you a few pointers that you can keep in mind when you're trying to find a bass drum for yourself. Okay, I found this as about a mid 90s Yamaha. It was actually a full drum set that I found on Craigslist for 75 bucks. But as you can see by the wood hoop here and like the rusty hardware, this thing was in rough shape and it was gonna cost quite a bit of money just to fix this up to be able to use it again. So I actually decided to refinish the rest of the drum set and I'm gonna make a little tiny drum set just to play for fun and then I'm gonna sell the bass drum as this really cool coffee table for hopefully at least as much or a little more than I bought the whole thing for. And then, you know, I basically get paid to uh, have a you know a cool drum set and the experience to make this and make a video and show you guys how to do it. So uh, I wanted to streamline it just a little bit though, just slick it up. Uh, a lot of this hardware is just, it's not gonna look too good. Uh, you know, with the rusty lug bolts and the really beat up and gouged out uh, rim here and all that kind of stuff. And then the, uh, even like the hardware, the chrome hardware is starting to get pitted and just not looking good. So uh, first thing I'd recommend doing if your drum at does still have tom holder on it is you take it out and it just bolts in right there as a plate that'll be on the inside. When you, when you take yours apart, you'll notice that. And then I actually just filled in the holes with a couple of bolts and nuts. And then this big hole right here, I'm actually gonna put a washer over it and then a nice little acorn nut just to kind of finish it off. The other thing is that mine had the bass drum legs on there. They're called spurs. And it's the same thing, it just bolts on and had three holes. So I just put some bolts and nuts there and uh, just kind of fill it up and just make it look a little more uh, finished. And then you also notice that I have a hoop and a head up here. I took it off the bottom already and then I even took all of the uh, lugs off and they're just so rusty and corroded, I'm not gonna use them anymore. So I'm taking all of them off and then I'm not gonna use my bass drum head or the hoop. Now, if yours is in decent shape, you could use them or maybe find like an old high school marching band uh, bass drum. It has a cool logo painted on like a white head. Like if you can see this one, it's actually a clear head that's just beat up and dirty and it doesn't look very good. But if you found like an old vintage white head that kind of turned beige and had a cool painting on it, then you could probably keep it, you know, it'd look cool. But for mine, I'm actually gonna make this thing usable and have a top that can be removed so you can use storage inside. So I'm actually gonna take my hoop off as well. So take all that off and then all you're left with is basically just the drum shell so we're not going to use any of this other stuff I am going to keep the chrome lug hardware on here just to kind of give it that you know so that you know it's actually a real drum and keep a little bit of that vintage chrome look but the rest of it we're going to totally make from scratch so if you're going to make yours exactly like mine then you want to get down to this point just strip it down to the basics fill in some of the holes with some bolts you know some nice little chrome heads on there just to make it look a little better and then I'll show you how to move on from here Okay, so now we need to make a base plate for the bottom of the drum and then a bottom for the removable top for the top side of the drum. So we're gonna make those out of plywood. So like I said, my base drum is 22 inches diameter. So I have two pieces of plywood that are about two foot by two foot square. And the one for the bottom piece is gonna be a three quarter inch piece of plywood. And then one for the top, you can use just half inch plywood. So all you gotta do is grab your drum and you wanna lay it onto your piece of plywood so that it's you know totally covered and then just take a pencil and you want to trace around the entire inside on the whole thing and that way you can cut this out and then just slightly sand the edges so it's nice and smooth and it'll slip just inside the drum but there won't be a big gap or anything and then that will be the base and then we'll do exactly the same thing on the half inch piece that will fit on the top so i'll cut those out and i'll show you what to do next okay so i have both this cut now uh, I have the three quarter inch thick piece right here that fits real snug just on the inside of the bottom of the bass drum. And then the half inch thick piece here, I have fit to go onto the top side and it's just a little bit loose so it'll slide in and out real good. So what I'm gonna do is the bottom piece, I'm gonna paint black so it just kind of disappears. And then for the top piece, I'm also gonna paint it black, but first we're gonna use it to fit the uh, plank top so that we can actually cut out the top and make that all work. So I'll show you how to do that next. All right now for the plank top, as you can see, I have my little half inch piece of plywood and I have it laying on five planks that are all a little bit longer than 24 inches because we're eventually gonna hook this all together and cut out a big 24 inch circle. 
uh, that will be, you know, it'll stick out on the edge of the drum just a little bit so that the top is a little bit bigger than the drum. But uh, these uh, boards I'm just using because they were leftovers from when we were doing our house. I actually pulled these out of the bathroom. A uh, real nightmare looking bathroom with terrible ugly wooden floors. I'll show you a picture of it and show you how bad it was. All right, so anyway, what I did was they were originally one by six, uh, which technically, you know, they're three quarter inch thick and they were five and a half inches wide, but I cut them down to four and three quarter inches wide. So that way when I laid five of them together with just a tiny bit of gap in between, they're basically 24 inches wide, which is what I'm wanting, a 24 inch top. So I laid the disc on there and then I'm gonna lay the bass drum right on there so that the disc is inside the drum and the bass drum is now sitting on the planks and I'll show you how to trace them out to cut out the top. So once I laid my drum down on top of everything, I actually spaced out the planks just a little bit more so that way I would at least have an inch on these short sides here because we want a, like a one inch overhang. And then what I actually did was I got inside the drum and I'm standing on the plywood disc so that nothing will move. And then we're going to take a uh, little skinny drill bit and I'm going to drill a few pilot holes around so that the I can join the disc to all the plywood planks to become one unit with these little one inch screws. So I'm going to do that next. And then uh, we'll go around and we'll actually trace a one inch line around there so we can cut it out and start working on the top. All right, so I got the disc screwed down to all the planks. So now we just gotta trace it. So let me show you a real easy way to do that. I actually just took a piece of wood and I cut a one inch block. And then all I'm gonna do is just butt it up against the drum and then take my pencil and just go around it. Draw your circle. And then we'll take the drum off and you can cut that out and you have a perfectly shaped top. All right, and now I pulled the drum off. You can see the outline here. And it's probably easier to cut this line if you disassemble the whole thing. But right before you do that, I'd recommend go ahead and take your pencil and also trace where the disc meets all the planks. So then you can undo all the screws. You can take it apart. You can paint your top and your bottom disc black and you can finish your wood planks in you know, a stain or paint or whatever you want. And then you can use those lines to remember how to put it back together. And another thing is I even numbered my planks so that I remember which order they go in to make it a little easier.